And joining me now to talk about the significance of these latest videos is Nick Pope. He's a UFO investigator who formerly advised the British Defense Ministry on all things related to the unexplained objects that sometimes we see in the sky. Um, Nick, thank you for being here. So the last time there were groundbreaking videos, there was just death silence, right? And then there was an explosion, a cacophony of noise that led to the congressional hearings. So I feel like we may be in that lull right now, the calm before the storm. But what are your thoughts? Well, it's very interesting, the timing, because actually this coming Friday, uh, the uh, Intelligence Community Inspector General is going to be briefing the House Oversight Committee. It's a, a classified members only briefing. It's actually about uh, the David Grush complaint. But, you know, you can almost guarantee that this will come up, even though it's not really within the remit of, of the um, uh, ICIG. And the timing, as I say, it's, it's, it's really interesting. Is this a distraction uh, to throw people off or, or is it to focus attention on this? But either way, this, this, I'm sure, has got Congress's attention. And Congress, like everyone else, is waiting for the Pentagon to confirm that this is genuine footage, which I'm sure it is, and then to say, well, what, what is your assessment of what we're looking at? Because if these things are flying over sensitive U.S. military establishments with impunity, what if this was a nuclear facility? Sure. I mean, that, that, that's part of the concern, is that the journalist has said that one of the videos is over a nuclear facility, and it flies in between, you know, some of the buildings at, at the facility. So Jeremy Corbell has some pretty strong thoughts about the material that, that he says was leaked to him. And that brings me to what you just said. This Friday, our hearings, they're in camera. We're not allowed to be part of them. But it's the Intelligence Inspector General. If you and I are watching this video right now, and if Jeremy Corbell got his hands on it from his source, his military source, I think it's a pretty good conclusion that the uh, Intel Inspector General has it and that it won't not be discussed on Friday. Is that fair? I think that's absolutely fair. It would be like the elephant in the room. Even if he says, look, I'm not here to discuss these videos, I'm here to discuss the, the complaint. Uh, you know, the, the congressional representatives uh, won't, won't worry about that sort of thing. They'll say, come on, you know, this is the big story of the week. You must uh, be talking to other people in the intelligence community. You must be talking to the Department of Defense. What's the line on this? So it will be discussed, I'm sure. Okay, so the big question I have is that since we're looking at a base um, allegedly, a uh, base in Iraq, a military, a U.S. military base in Iraq. And since Jeremy Corbell's other video suggests that this same kind of object, the jellyfish, flies over an American nuclear facility, um, I, does it not just naturally, since these are American security interests, does that not naturally gravitate us towards thinking this is likely foreign spycraft, extremely sophisticated uh, foreign spycraft, because if it's, if it's UAP, if it's, if it's alien, if it's extraterrestrial, surely they're interested in other than just us Americans. Well, you would think so, although, to be fair, UAP does seem to be a global phenomenon. But look, this reminds me of the whole Chinese spy balloon saga. You know, this flew under the radar for years until it didn't. And then we shot one down. And then we shot another three down, but didn't talk about what those were. And now something like this happens, and one wonders, how many other times has this gone on at US military facilities? And what has to happen before people sit up, pay attention, and say, we, we need some answers to this? Because if, if this is the sort of thing that's flying over nuclear facilities, well, it's over our missiles, it's over our nuclear submarines, what's next? Do you gravitate towards foreign spycraft or do you gravitate more towards um, an extraterrestrial, a, a UAP that we can't explain? Well, I think Occam's razor suggests that uh, these things are more likely Russian than Martian or, or, or Chinese, perhaps, in, in this context. But, you know, I never rule out anything. And un until we have more data on this, I don't think we can rule out the extraterrestrial hypothesis. But, yeah. China is probably the number one uh, suspect with this. And if they're running rings around our sophisticated air defenses and flying with impunity over these sensitive facilities, uh, we need answers and we need action, not, not just platitudes. We need to stop this happening, not just talk about it after the event. 
Can I ask you then, why is it that uh, American uh, interests, I mean, I know it's a global phenomenon to have UAPs, et cetera, to, to see these things, but it's, it's not as typical to have the Australians or the Europeans or the Chinese or the Russians uh, with this jaw-dropping sort of discovery, which is, again, kind of leads me back to the foreign adversaries and, and spycraft that's beyond our capability of understanding, scary in itself. Yes. I mean, to be fair, I think the US government is more open about this than others. So these things probably are happening in Russia and China as well. And we're not, just not hearing about it. We know that the Five Eyes Intelligence Sharing Alliance is engaged. They've had one meeting at least on UAP. So the UK uh, probably has these sorts of incidents. Uh, Australia, New Zealand and Canada too. But, uh, you know, quite the extent of this is still unknown. But uh, whatever it is, as I say, the, the American people deserve answers. Congress should be pushing for answers. The world is waiting. Nick Pope, I sure hope that we are going to get answers after Friday. I, you know, obviously, we won't get them right away. There's a reason they keep those things quiet so that they can vet whatever information they may release. But um, I need you on speed dial for this. Thank you for, for being with me tonight. I appreciate it.